One thing that everybody talks about, I know I incorporated ginger into my diet when I was undergoing chemotherapy and used it very successfully for the treatment of my quality of life, more important than anything else, because quality of life and length of life go hand in hand. One of the things that a lot of physicians say to their patients is eat comfort foods. Can you talk about the benefits of eating a comfort food and perhaps the not so good reasons why you should focus in a different way and consult with someone like you to make sure that you're getting not only nutrition, but the right kinds of nutrition to help your quality of life and maybe your survival. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, 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 a, that's a tough, uh, tricky one because yeah. you know, sometimes um, all that's, that sounds good or feels good to, a, to an in, a individual may be a comfort food or that's what somebody's encouraging to um, there's a couple. There's a couple concerns with some of the comfort foods. Um, in, in that, uh, most of the comfort foods, for example, macaroni and cheese is one that. that <laughs> when I say really comfort good. food, that's yeah, that's really <laughs> the first thing. And there are healthy ways to make macaroni oh, of and course. cheese, even non you know non dairy or vegan ways to make macaroni and cheese. Um, but th that's also something that's high in fat. Um, it's high in, it, you know, it's made from dairy products. So, so I, one of the things I mentioned earlier is somebody that's having nausea, we try and switch them to a, a low fat, right. or if they're having lower GI discomfort, um, you know, taking dairy products out of the diet. So we may be actually, it's, it sounds comforting and it's something, you know, that we're familiar with and we mm -hmm. grew up with, um, but it actually may make the symptoms worse because you're eating something, again, that's high in fat, it's, you know, it's made with dairy, so it, it may make the digestive symptoms worse. Not, not to mention that it, you know, it, it also is high in a, in a type of um, fat that's more inflammatory, and so okay. it may not be the best thing for your immune system. And you know, we talk that people with cancer can have a compromised immune system and be more susceptible to infection. So it's sort of I always you know use an analogy with patients of the old-fashioned weighted scale. Mm -hmm. You know, it is difficult because we're often managing. Um, quantity goals with quality goals, you know, and trying to get the Absolutely. right quantity of calories, protein, vitamins, and minerals, um, and also addressing quality at the same time. So, but it's something that you have to pay attention to all of the time through treatment. 